Tuesday. Do you create drama? Do you create drama just to have drama in your life? Have you been there? Have you been that person? I have. You know, there was a point in time in my life that drama made my life exciting. <laughs> um, and I craved the emotional high or the, emotion, the emotional low. I don't find, I don't, I mean, there's probably times that I still do do that. But I find less value in that as I have begun to grow up, or began to grow up, begin to grow up, whatever, as I mature. Eey, scary word. Yeah, I'm, there's a <laughs> there's a real twisted talent in making everything dramatic. Is it about making everything, taking everything personally? Probably. In addition to, you know, many other things, but I found more and more value in just the balance of life, <laughs> the serenity of things. There's a beginning and a middle and an end to everything. And this too shall pass. Everything, the good and the bad. It begins, there's a middle, and then it ends. Rises and passes away. So to be balanced through the whole process and not get turned over or spun upside down or about anything in life. And that's, it's not easy. It's practice. It takes practice. So I don't know. I, I have found a, an, an, an immense tool in the breath and in meditation with all of that. The times that I sit quiet in the morning and in the night or throughout the day help me with the chaos that I tend to bump into throughout the day. I remember to breathe and to just, you know, get perspective on situations that seem either inconvenient or ridiculous or all of the above and more. I mean, even the most tragic of situations you can get perspective on. So, I don't know. Happy Tuesday. Much love. Big light.